lot in the roller coaster community is going on. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have um, something that has come forward from Triotech at IAPA. So from 1.15 to 1.40 p.m. at IAPA in Florida, I believe, Triotech and Knott's Berry Farm at booth number 1954 um, are going to make some sort of an announcement. So together with Knott's Berry Farm, Triotech will announce a new attraction celebrating the park's 100th anniversary. Pretty crazy. So with Knott's Berry Farm making their announcements for the 2020 season, a lot of people were left, wow, kind of expecting more. Also, on top of it, with the additions that have been spread out through the Cedar Fair chain, there has been what looks like room for more additions. It doesn't look like everything was announced, and this could be that final gap that we were looking for. Cedar Fair typically spends, you know, in the 100 millions um, spread amongst all their parks, or sometimes a little less, um, and sometimes a lot more if you were looking back at that four coasters in a year, um, year that they did with hang time at Knott's Berry Farm. But this makes sense. Um, now, I'm a little shooketh, I have to be honest. I do not like the name Triotech being included in any more additions in the Cedar Fair family. I have a strong hatred towards Triotech, and I hate that company. I don't want to see them in the Cedar Fair family anymore. I think that it's an embarrassment that Triotech is working with Cedar Fair. I think Cedar Fair should really smarten up and look at you know, Sally as an option. I think Six Flags really slapped Cedar Fair in the face with their dark rides versus Cedar Fair's dark rides. So I'm a little upset to see um, the Triotech name and uh, Cedar Fair Park both making an announcement. But nonetheless, fingers crossed. I'm losing my voice, by the way, if you can't hear it. Um, fingers crossed that we're looking at something new. So it looks like new is in the name, new attraction and celebrating the park's 100th anniversary. Um, now, a little thing that I'm confused about is where could this go in Knott's Berry Farm? A lot of people are pointing to an unused theater. Again, I am more of a general public enthusiast in the community. I don't fully know uh, the area around Knott's Berry Farm or in Knott's Berry Farm, so I'm not exactly sure of the theater that people are talking about. So feel free to comment down below, um, and I'll pin someone's comment that is correct. So I guess this is the point where I want to invite you guys to comment then. So comment down below what you think Triotech could be announcing um, for Knott's Berry Farm for their 100th anniversary. And comment down below the theater location that people have been talking to me about. Apparently there's a vacant theater um, that might be used for some sort of dark ride. Um, which also brings me to my analysis. What do I think Triotech and Knott's Berry Farm could be announcing? Well... Full honesty, I think one of the most likely options is a 4D theater. Um, a new 4D theater, maybe they're going to announce some sort of 4D flying theater like we've seen some of those bigger corporations announce. Maybe Triotech will come in and announce their little um, dollar store Walmart version. <laughs> um, and maybe Cedar Fair likes that it's a cheaper edition so, or a cheaper option, so maybe they're going to purchase that. I can see something along those lines, some sort of unique 4D kind of element or theater or maybe they're really going to go after it with that 4D flying theater, the Walmart version. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's also just an upgrade to Voyage to the Iron Reef. Um, if what I've been hearing about Voyage to the Iron Reef and Guardian um, at Wonderland is those attractions have just, ugh, especially Wonder Mountain's Guardian. I can confirm that attraction isn't working. I honestly thought Voyage to the Iron Reef looked amazing compared to Wonder Mountain's Guardian. Um, and I wish we had that instead. So I don't know if that one's not working. People are telling me that that one also has been having a lot of problems. Um, so again, comment down below if it has been having problems, hasn't been having problems. Fully educate me on Knott's Berry Farm in the comment section below. Um, but if it is true that Voyage to the Iron Reef has been having problems, that could be another option as well. Maybe they're just going to fully upgrade the attraction or switch it over to a new theme. We do know with Triotech, one of the awesome features of a Triotech ride is you can switch the storyline at the flip of a button. Now, it's a little easier on Wonder Mountain's Guardian because Wonder Mountain's Guardian doesn't have theming um, and Voyage to the Iron Reef does. So that one I don't really see being the option for Voyage to the Iron Reef. That would kind of be a whole redo of the or a retrofit of the theming for Voyage to the Iron Reef. So I'm definitely thinking that we're going to see some sort of new dark ride by Triotech in one of the buildings um, to go along with Knott's Berry Farm's story maybe flying over Knott's Berry Farm, flying over California, or, you know, just the story of Knott's Berry Farm, or maybe it'll be 
themed, uh, like their calico type theming that they've been doing. And they've been doing a really impressive job too. Knott's Berry Farm has been killing it with their re-theming and upgrading of their attractions. So this would be another unique thing that I would love to see Knott's Berry Farm do. I've been really jealous of Knott's Berry Farm and how they've been upgrading everything and the park's been almost like a, 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 like a knockoff Disneyland in a sense. Like I, I like that the park's been heading down that direction. I hopefully I didn't trigger too many people with saying a knockoff Disneyland because in my opinion, that's a compliment. I'm trying to compliment Knott's Berry Farm with that statement. Um, and it's, it's really showing. And I, I really want to see more um, from Knott's Berry Farm in that essence and i think this might be the step in the right direction again really disappointed in the name triotech being in this mix really wish it was sally or even someone more um, unique i think that you know cedar fair really tried with triotech and it failed so i don't know why they're trying again i don't know if maybe they got a refund on their triotech rides or a portion of it and this is them using that i couldn't begin to explain what's going on i'm just not impressed with seeing triotech i don't think many enthusiasts are um again feel free to sound off in the comments down below what you think of this whole thing rant below um i would love to see what other people are thinking about it but i'm truly disappointed in seeing triotech the name and not spray farm making an announcement anyways i just wanted to comment quickly on this news i know everyone knows about it but i wanted to kind of digest um what i've been thinking over the um the last couple of hours and uh through last night Again, not too happy, but what can we do? It looks like it's going to be a thing. Maybe we'll be blown um, out of the water with this. You know, maybe it's going to be in a really awesome attraction. And again, maybe it's going to be one of these new 4D flying theaters or just a upgraded 4D attraction in one of their buildings. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend, even though I think this video is actually coming out a day before the weekend, so my bad. Uh, anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.